right, hello, welcome back. Um, today's class is going to be a uh, mat Pilates, of course, with some light weights, two pounds, three pounds, whatever you got. You can even grab two soup cans if that's what you needed to do, okay? But we are going to have little cardio hits in between, so let me show you what those look like. Little energy bursts, not really cardio hits, but I'll show you what they look like. So you'll be here, feet are right under your hips, just take a deep breath up, we'll round in, okay, hold. Walk out, one, two, three, hold, plank for a moment. Now from here, you can either crouch and hop in, okay? Or from your plank, you can step in, step in. You can stay here, or you can hold on to your shins, and you can roll yourself back. Roll yourself up, push yourself forward using those hands. And again, you can either step back, or from here, you can take a deep breath and hop it back. Okay, so that's what our cardio hits will look like. Let's float the body all the way down. All the way down. Nice. So bring those hands right under your forehead and just hang out here for a moment and just breathe in the nose and exhale it out. Again, in the nose and exhale it out. And last time, breathe in the nose and then exhale it out. Okay, slide your hands right under your shoulders. Curl your toes under. Push up just one time to a plank. Take a knee down, take a knee down, and hold yourself here. And let's round our backs, drop your head. Come through neutral and arch your back. And again, round your back. Come through a neutral spine and give yourself an arch, and then come back to neutral. Take your hands over to the right, and again, round your back. Come through neutral and arch, and one more time, round your back. Come through neutral and we arch. Come back to center, take it over to the other side, round your back, drop in your head, come through neutral, we arch, and last time, round your back, come through neutral, and we arch, good. Bring your hands right back, just hold yourself here for a moment, let's get into the shoulders, I just want you to retract, and then protract, retract, and protract, so try not to lock the joints, and last time, good, come back to neutral, again, round your back, drop your head. Come through and arch your back. Good. And then come back to neutral. Just for a, a little wake up for the shoulder, take the right arm to the side. Lift it. Notice how high this lifts or how comfortable it feels. And then you're going to thread through. Drop your head down. Reach that left arm long. You're just kind of hang out. Take a couple deep breaths. Slide your left hand back in or your front hand. Come right back. This time take your left arm to the side. Lift it. Notice. Does it go more or less? And then thread through, and we drop it down. Reach your right arm to the top of the mat and just hang out. Slide your right hand back in, and come back to neutral. And then again, round your back, drop your noggin. Come through, and arch your back. Good. A little correction that I just made for myself, because I saw it in the mirror. Your knees should be right under your hip. Mine were a little bit too forward there. So I made that fix. And your belly's always pulling in and up, okay? One more time, just round. Come through neutral and give me that arch and then come back to neutral. Okay, send one leg long, send the other leg long. Okay, hold here now. Let's just take a foot in, take a foot in, and then just sit down and plant your feet. Let's get your weights close to you so they're handy. We don't have to break later. Okay, um, actually, let's hold on to them. Arms are reaching long. Drop your chin, take your body halfway back. Enjoy that. Take your body all the way forward. And one more time like that, take it halfway back. Notice the weights make it a little bit more comfortable. And then up you go, use your counterbalance. Now, hold those arms to the sides, take your body halfway back. Rotate to the left, say. Open the right arm that squares you off. And then your left arm comes over, come back to center, and dive forward. Okay, one more time like that. We're just warming up. Take the body halfway back, rotate to the right. Left arm open, so now you're square. Right arm comes over. Both arms come back to center. We dive forward. Nice. And now from here, palms are up as slow as you can. Float down and float down and float down and float down and down and down. We're all the way down. Okay, let's rest. Slide those feet in. Nice and comfortable. Fix your pants if you need to. Okay. So holding here, tuck your toe and give me a little pelvic curl, just little. And then roll it down. And one more time, a little pelvic curl. And then roll it down. Good. Just, again, waking things up. Leg to table, leg to table. Palms are up. Knees are tight. And we're going to float side to side. Yeah, so 
So just, again, noticing like we do with the shoulder, if one side works better than the other, then we just sway side to side. Tip that chin, press those ribs into that mat. Remember, if something doesn't feel right, we don't do it. We make sure we feel pretty good before we even start this. And let's go last one. Good. Hold your legs to tabletop, bring a foot to the mat, and a foot to the mat. Let's take the arms up to the sky, just as they're up and down. So when you do this, really think about your ribs, that they're not going to flare as the arm goes overhead. We want to pull that all in and we scissor and we scissor. Good. Let's stop. Take those arms to center. Just open wide. Enjoy that. Pull back to center. Open wide. Pull back to center. Last time. Open wide. Pull back to center. Let your arms float down. Okay. Let's take a leg up. The leg up. Heels together. Okay, let's slide your hands right behind your head. Just give me a little curl. Just trying to orient you to your 45 degree angle so we send it out. Remember, barbershop poles are wrapping around and we come back. And again, we send it out and then we draw it back. Again, send it out and then we'll draw it back. And last time, send it out and then we'll draw it back. Close those knees tight and let's rest. Okay, turning the head side to side. Remember too, you don't always have to lift your head if your neck is just kind of t uh, cranky or you're not feeling 100%, uh, you can always keep your head on the floor and just modify from there, okay? So let's start with our hundreds. I'll show you uh, how you modify these to keep the head on the floor. So arms are long. Let's leave our legs exactly where they are. Here we go. We'll do five and five. We go inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold it. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders up now if you haven't yet. Send your legs out. Wrap these legs around and let's go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Hold it. Take your legs up to the sky. Let's take a break for a second and cross your ankles. So we're going to incorporate this into our hundreds. And what you need to notice is if you keep it small and tight, you'll be successful. If you start to make it big and crazy, um, yeah, it'll just get discombobulated. So just think small, tight little changements. Okay, so let's stop that and let's try to put that with our hundreds. Okay, head, neck, and shoulders lift, arms are long. I'm going to keep them straight to the sky for this and then uh, maybe we'll take them lower. So from here we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. And hold it and rest. And then turn your head side to side. Okay? So we'll give you another shot. You're probably cracking up right now because it does get kind of crazy. Your arms start doing the hand jive or something. But let's try again. Head, neck, and shoulders lift. Legs go to 45 degrees. Tips of the legs are touching the floor. And we go. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. And hold it. Bend those legs in and let's rest. Hands are on those knees. And just roll side to side. So I think we've done about 80. I think it's about 80. Yeah. So send the leg long. Send the leg long. I'm going to go with that. If we've done more, you'll modify this. Um, or you'll just go with me. Okay? There's no Pilates police around. I think we'll be okay. Head, neck, and shoulders lift. Now, as you lift here, we're going to keep the legs supported on the floor. Notice you got your heels touching, your pubic bone, your belly button, your sternum, and your nose. Arms are strong, tips of the blades touch the floor. Focus on your pumping and on your breath. So let's do three and seven this time. We go inhale, two, three. Shh. Inhale, two, three. Shh. Hold it. Grab onto those weights. Palms are up. And we're going to roll up. We're going to dive the body all the way forward. And then we're going to roll the body down. Okay. Palms are up. Again, nod and curl. Up we go. Reaching right beyond those toes. And then we roll it down. Okay? Articulating through the spine. Roll it up. Reach beyond your toes. Scoop. And take the body down. Let's just do it one last time. Nod and curl. Of course, if you want to do more, you just hit pause and you do more. And then down you're going to go. All right. Let's rest those weights. Take a leg up and a leg up. Okay? I'm not going to do any inversions today. Um, yeah, let's take your feet right back down. And uh, if you want, you could pause here and do some rollovers, but I'm going to go straight to leg circles. Send your legs long, okay? Starting on the right side first, take your right leg up. 
Now today we're going to make these super big. So for you, you'll open your arms to a wide V, so you have that support. But I want this leg to go way over. I want the toes to touch, circle around, and you're up. So we go way over, so you get the stretch here. Then those feet touch, you go around, and you go up. And we go over, feel that stretch. Circle down, go around, and up. One more, over, circle down, go around, and go up and stay, okay? Again, remembering your wrists. Try it the other way. We go away, circle down, the feet touch, then we go way over, and then we come up. And again, we circle away, control the movement. Remember, if this doesn't feel right on your hip, you make your circle smaller, and we go away. Those feet, that leg circles down, feet touch, circle around, and let's do one more. We circle away, come in, over to the side, and up we go, perfect. Draw that knee into your chest and send it long. That right leg just might feel longer than your left right now. Okay, now let's send the left leg up. Ho, 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 whole new side, it's gonna feel different. So left leg goes over, circles down the feet, touch. We go around and we go up. And we go over, circle down and around and up. Again, go over, go down, go around. And one more, we go over. We go down, we go around, and we're up. Hold there, let's try the other way. And away, scoop down, and around, and we're up. And we go away, circle down, go around, and come up. Again, go away, circle down, around, and you're up. Last time, away. Down we go, circle around, and we're up. Pull that leg in. Feel that nice stretch there. Pull your other knee in as well. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders, and rock yourself up. So now we're ready for our first cardio hit. So from here, hold yourself in rolling like a ball, and that's what would come next. That's kind of worked. But you're gonna inhale back, exhale up, push yourself over, hands to the floor. Take a leg back, take a leg back, hold your plank. Send your hips up, drop those heels. Walk your hands back. We come back to the land of the living. We roll ourselves up. And then we're going to circle our shoulders back. Again, inhale up. And we dive it over. Dive, 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 dive. Walk it out. One, two, three. This time, I'll just take a step in, a step in. I'm going to hold it here. And now, I'm going to inhale back. I'm going to exhale it up. Push myself up and over. But I'm going to stay right here. Okay? Take a hand back. Take a hand back. Feet are planted. Arms are reaching long. And now down I go. Down I go. I want to give these hips a break before we go further. Okay, so down we go. We rest, palms are up. Maybe slide your feet in closer. Tuck your toes on just a little bridge just to open this up. Take yourself down and just do one more. Just a little lift. And then take yourself down. Now, single leg stretch, great variation today. Slide your hands behind your head, lift the head, neck, and shoulders up, and legs come to tabletop. And now I want us to bicycle. We're gonna bicycle and bicycle, nice and big. So we're lifted. Elbows, hands are stacked one on top of the other, behind the noggin, and we bicycle, and bicycle, and bicycle, and bicycle, reverse it. Flick sand off your mat, flick, and flick, and flick. Elbows are wide. We flick, we flick, we flick. We're gonna go four of those, go three of those, go two of those, go one of those. Bring those legs up, feel the stretch there, heavy tailbone, nice. Bend your legs, and let's rest, okay? So. Rest there, you're gonna need your weights now, so let's grab those weights. Okay, perfect. So, you're at tabletop legs, and hold your weights in your hands. Our variation on double leg stretch today is gonna to be backstroke. Okay, so, hands come to your forehead, lift the head and the controllers up. Okay, so here we are, legs are tight. Send arms and legs straight to the ceiling. Now they're gonna circle around the same circle size, hold a 45, lift a little bit higher, because you can, and then recoil. The weights help you lift higher. Circle around, we're just gonna do three in each direction. Lift a little bit higher, and then we recoil. I'm going between parallel and turnout, so let's stay in turnout. Legs go to the sky, and then we circle it around. Our heels meet, we reach a little bit higher, and then we recoil, and let's rest. Good, turning your head side to side, giving yourself that break. And now, let's reverse that. Hands are at your forehead, head, neck, and shoulders lift. Send your arms and legs to 45 degrees. We circle around, 
straight to the ceiling, lift up a little bit higher, and then bring it right back in. Arms and legs go 45 degrees. We circle them away, same circle size so it doesn't get crazy. Lift a little bit higher here, and then bring it back. Last time, arms and legs go 45, and we circle them around. We go all the way up, lift up a little bit higher, and then we come home, take a foot to the mat, a foot to the mat, reach those arms along, and rest. Turn your head side to side. Again, just a tension built up in your neck. Sometimes your abdominals get tired, your neck's going to take over, okay? Send your legs long. Okay, good. So long legs, you're going to get to open this up just naturally. But I'd like you to hold your weights. No, you know, let's let go of your weights. Take your arms to genie arms. Yeah, this is nice. Our legs are going to be long, so this is our, our variation on crisscross. Head, neck, and shoulders left. Twist to the right. At the same time, reach your arms and you can lift a little bit. And then you're going to come back to center. Twist left, reach those arms, and you lift a little bit. We come back and center. Crisscross, reach those arms, lift a little bit. Come back and center. Crisscross left, reach those arms, lift a little bit. And down you go. And center last time. Crisscross right, reach those arms. Give me a nice little lift. And we come back and center last time. Crisscross left, reach those arms. A little lift, and then we come back. Perfect. And then let's rest ourselves on the mat. Okay, just rest here. Let's do this one. Everybody loves this one. Bend your legs, take them about as wide as your mat. Drop your heels to the right. Left arm goes high. Right arm's gonna wrap around your stomach. And you just get a chance to open up that left hip. Come back. Drop your knees to the left. Right arm goes high. That's it. So you just dip them right down. And then you're going to come back to center. Okay. Now from here, I'm get my weights out of the way. Knee to my chest, knee to my chest. Head, neck, and shoulders lift. I rock myself up. Holding here. Let's start our cardio hit right here. Okay. So holding here, we're going to inhale back. And we're going to exhale up. Push yourself up and over. Hold here. Legs hop out. Okay. Send your hips up to the sky. Drop those heels. Walk your hands back. One, two, three and three, and then roll yourself up. Bone by bone, we get to the top and we circle those shoulders back. Again, take a deep breath up. Whoa. And dive in. Let the body hang here for that good stretch. Walk it out again. One, two, and three. Hold here. Scoop, scoop. Again, give me a step in or a jump in. We crouch, we jump. We have a sit, we have a sit, and we send these legs along. Is that where we're going next? Yes, we are. Okay, let's grab your weights. So we're going to do a variation. Spine stretch forward. We're going to do rowing, okay? From the reformer. Or it could be from the tower too, right? So let's sit up nice and tall. And I'd like you to point your feet. Hands are right at your hips. You're going to sit tall. We're going to use these weights or not. Lift, drop your chin and we reach. Everything rolls up. Then the arms continue. And then you open. Nice. Hands to your hips. Lift, drop your chin, and we reach towards our toes, keeping the pelvis long, and then we roll ourselves up, our arms are going to continue, and then we open, okay? And then we rest, okay? So what I want us to think about is the pelvis is going to stay up and down, okay? And we're going to crease over this. We're not creasing way down here, if you can kind of see that. Um, so let's try it again. Hands are here. Lift, drop your chin, and we reach, and then we're going to roll up. Right, and those arms continue, and then we'll open. We get taller as the arms slice down, slice down, slice down, and then we can relax. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and set those weights off to the side, and let's go into some nice variation or version of open leg rocker with teaser, actually. So extend the leg, extend the leg. Let's just do the prep. Okay, enjoy that. Then give me both legs. This is kind of advanced, so you just... See what you can do with it. Okay, and we'll stop that. Okay, good. Okay, now send your legs up. Remember, we can grab our ankles, or we can grab, we're still grabbing our ankles, but we can, we can bend the legs. So I just want the back straight. I want the, the movement to come from the low back. Okay, um, and the arms don't change. Okay, so I'm gonna go to full. So let's just do a couple normal open leg rockers. We inhale back, and then we exhale up. Whoa, not my best. Let's try it again. Inhale back. Exhale it up. Ooh. One more time like that. Inhale back. And exhale it up. Hold, 
hold it, hold it. Okay, now let's go to a variation here. So we do open leg rocker, we inhale back, and then we come up, we hold it, arms reach, we lower everything, and then we lift it all, grab on again, and we inhale back, and we exhale it up. See that effort I have to put there? Let go, everything floats down. Everything floats up, and I grab on, thankfully. One more, inhale back. Exhale it up. Oh, Jen, better work on that one. Hold there, let go, and take everything down. Everything up, grab onto those legs, beautiful, beautiful. Close those legs tightly. Okay, take the arms up to the sky. From here, yes, everything floats down. <sighs> Give yourself just a good stretch here, just relax those glutes. Shake those legs out. My quads would definitely grab in there. Most definitely. Shake those legs out a bit. Okay, we have a cardio hit here. So you can stay here or you could come with me and go back to that little energy burst. Lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Rock yourself up. So we start here. Okay, super tight little mini ball. We're going to inhale back. Exhale, get yourself up. Push it over. Hands here. Take the leg back, the leg back, or hop it back. Lift up those hips. Drop your heels. Walk back, one, two, and three, and then we roll up. By only taking three steps, you get a little bit more abdominal engagement there. And again, arms go up, and we dive in right here and walk it out. One, two, and three. Hold yourself here. Nice, take another inhale. Give me that crouch. Maybe give me a hop or a step in, and then take a hand back, a hand back. Plant your feet, reach those arms long, as slow as you can. Down we go. Down we go. Watch the shoulders. Down we go. Down we go. Down we go. And we rest. Okay, let's keep our arms by our side. Give me a normal bridge. So we just tuck a normal hip curl. And then roll it down. Of course, you want to stay looking at the ceiling. Stay on the shoulders. Now, bring your legs in closer and go up to your tippy toes. So you can almost touch your heels here. Tuck the tailbone and give me a bridge. Ah, so I'm trying to simulate a um, semicircle on the reformer. So as I'm here, I might bring my legs in just a smidge closer, just a little bit to get that high lift, okay? And now roll down. Oh, and I get a little bit more of a stretch in those quads. Ah, okay, again, tuck the tailbone and peel up. So it's a little bit higher. Watch your knees. Let's see how my left leg wanted to flare up. Don't let that happen. And then roll yourself down. Okay, again. Tuck and peel it up. Take an arm overhead, an arm overhead. Enjoy this elongation. And then roll down. Ah. Just like it, semicircle, right? And one more time. Tuck and lift. And now take a hand to an ankle. We bring that foot in more. Bring a hand to an ankle. Enjoy this. Let's scoop that. Okay. Nice. Take an arm back. Take an arm back. And then roll your bridge down, 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 down. Take a foot out. Take a foot out and relax those feet. Bring it, return your arms to where they were. Palms are up. Tuck your tailbone and we peel up into our bridge. Just push into all the toe pads, the whole foot. You might close your eyes and just notice if you're hitting all those points on your feet, and then roll your bridge down. Ah, very nice. Uh, let's see. From here, nod and curl. Grab onto your hamstrings. Inhale. Exhale's going to get you up. And we're just going to round right over those legs. Feel that right there in that low back. And sit up nice and tall. Let's cross your ankles and come on over. Come on over. Okay, so grab your weights. We need one only. Let's grab one weight. Okay, holding here. Again, like we did in the warm-up, remember all fours. So make sure the knee's under the hip, hands are under the shoulders, ribs are pulled in and up, okay? Let's start with the left hand first. Put the weight in the left hand and watch this. You don't want to hyperextend. Elbow pits face in. Actually, I'm going to go to my fist because my wrists are kind of funky today. So I'm going to go to my fist, send your left arm long and your right leg long. Okay, enjoy this stretch. So working in opposition called bird dog, and now we lower, and we lift, and we lower, and lift, and again, lower, and lift. Last time, lower, and lift. Keep your leg where it is, take that arm to the side, and we bend, and extend, 
bend and extend, bend and extend. Last time, nice little bicep work there, and take that arm behind you, hold there. Crown of the head is reaching, heel to bottom, hand to shoulder, and send it out. Play with your ankle joint as well. Make sure that knee is pointing to the floor. And last time, and take it out. Now take that left arm all the way to the front, and now you'll love this. Elbow to knee, and then send it long. Again, elbow to knee, and send it long. Again, elbow to knee, send it long, and last time. Elbow to knee, send it long. Feel that, that reach, lower the hand, lower the knee, and let's sit back into a shell stretch. You can have your right fingers point to you. Give that wrist a little bit of a break. Okay, come right back up to all fours. And now the right hand's gonna hold the weight. Uh, again, I'm gonna go to my fist. That's a choice, that's an option for you too. Keeps the wrist flat versus that where it sinks in. Oops, I'm Okay, so again, knees are under my hips. Right hand is holding the weight, left arm, or left leg reaches. Okay, holding here. And now we're gonna lower and lift and lower and lift. Always think of length. And last time, take that arm all the way to the back, holding there. And now from here, um, oh sorry, arm goes to the side, sorry. Hand in and out, hand in and out, hand in and out. Last time, hand in and out, hold there. Take that arm all the way to the back. Now heel to bottom, hand to shoulder, and press it away. Heel to bottom, hand to shoulder, press it away. Heel to bottom, Send it away last time, heel to bottom, send it away. And now that right arm goes all the way to your front. Elbow to knee, round your back, your back is dying for this. And then go to lengthen, round it, and lengthen it. And again, we round it, we could inhale, and then we could exhale, and then we could reach, lower that arm, lower that knee, sit back into your shell, and just give yourself a break here. Let's take those hands over to the right side. Enjoy that stretch there. I almost do like a little pull. Come back and take your arms over to the right side. Nice. And then we come back. Let's come right up onto those knees. Actually, I want you to come onto your side. All the way down. So you're aerodynamic. And you're all the way down here. Okay? Good. So send that left arm straight to the ceiling. Straight to the ceiling. And now your legs lift and lower. Think of the lift that you're getting here with this left arm as you lift and you lower. Both legs lift and they lower. Now arms reaching to the ceiling and you lift and you lower and last time lift and then lower. Now lower that arm, palm is up. You're gonna use your bottom arm, okay? So you're gonna reach and you're gonna come back. Your, arm, your legs are hovering off the mat and again you're gonna reach and you're gonna come back and last time reach and then you're going to come back perfect drop off that weight okay take your left leg or your top leg in front now you could be like this or you could drop it whatever is best for you but here we are we're down here uh, still nice and strong bottom leg lifts and lowers it lifts and lowers and try to have your gaze straight away lift and lower let's go four like that go three like that go two more feel that inner thigh Go one more. Okay, now let's make a box. We go up, back, down, and forward. Lift, go back, down, and forward. Lift, back, down, and forward. Last time, lift, and back, and down. Hold, go back, go up, go forward, and down. Go back, go up, forward, and down. Go back, and up. Ooh, there's some fire there. And go back, and up and forward and down, perfect. Now from here, you're gonna use your top hand, she's gonna come to the floor, send both legs long, both legs are turned out, hold here and just beat, just beat, just beat, just to seal the deal on the inner thigh of that bottom leg. Go four, go three, go two, go one, and then lower those legs, ha 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 ha. Push yourself up, grab onto your ankles here like a mermaid, and come over. Ankles don't, or mermaids don't have ankles, do they? Ankles don't have mermaids. <laughs> come up, and let's just come over this way and just enjoy that. Oh, good. Bring yourself up. Hands can go behind you. And we set it up and set the legs to the other side. Okay? So, you're on your other side. Grab your weight. All the way down you go. 
Legs are long. You can bend your bottom arm so it's like a pillow. Top arm goes to the sky. Hold here. Now remember, think about your abdominals when you're doing side leg series. Think about the waist. As I say, so your waist is not a waste. Little play on words. Okay, so legs lift and lower. Legs lift and lower. Okay, I'm just taking my weight away just to kind of talk about something. I want you to be lifting up from this bottom waist. Again, we lift and we lower. We lift and we lower. We lift and we lower. Let's go four like that. Go three like that. Go two like that. And go one. Okay, now take that arm long. Bottom arm is on the floor. Legs are elevated. And you're going to lift. And you're going to lower. So the idea is the weight's going to help you. And again, we're going to lift. And we're going to lower. We're going to lift. I think we have one more. Just make sure you're even. And we lift. And then we lower. Perfect. Drop off that weight. Top leg comes in front. And bottom leg is just going to lift and lower. Move down a little bit so you can see my feet. But you're going to lift and you're going to lower. Lift and you're going to lower. Lift and lower. And again, I'm going to look straight away. Because when I look down, what happens? I get that curve there. So I just want to look straight in front of me. And I lift and I lower. Lift and lower. Let's go four of those, go three of those, go two of those, one. Okay, now let's make that box. Lift, take it back, lower, front. Lift, back, lower, move front. Lift, back, lower, move front. One more. Lift and back and lower, move front. Stay. Go back, lift up, forward and down. Go back, lift up, forward and down. Go back, lift up, forward, and down. Last time, go back, lift up, forward, and down. Nice. Okay, so from here, top hand is active. Both legs go long. Hold there. And beat, 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 and beat. Let's go four, let's go three, let's go two, let's go one. Lower those legs, bend them in, and push yourself up. Okay, and let's just do a side bend here. A little nice little mermaid here. And then we're going to come up and do a little mermaid there. Good. And then we're going to come back now, just from this angle, go ahead and take yourself back to a plank. Hold it here. Okay? Send those hips up to the sky, just a different sequence of the same thing. Okay? Hold there. Now walk your hands back. We go one, we go two, we go three. And then we roll ourselves up. Circle those shoulders back. Take a deep breath up. And then we're going to dive in. I know I'm off camera. And walk it out. One and two and three. Hold. So again, we can either step in or hop. I'll hop this time. We hop in. Hold there. Okay, now I could stay here or could hold on to my legs. And I could inhale back. And then exhale. I push myself up over. Hands behind me. Again, I could hop or step back. I'll inhale. And I'll hop my legs back. Perfect. Hold here, hold here, hold here. Drop down to your knees. Sit back into your shell. Okay? Let's take your hands over to the right side. <sighs> come back. Take your hands over to the left side. Nice. And then come back. And then from here, let's go ahead. Come up. Take a leg back. Take a leg back. And lower all the way down to your belly. I'm going to turn around so I can face you. Lower all the way down to your belly. And make sure your weights are close by. Okay? So here we are on our stomachs. Hands are right under your forehead. And your legs should just be where you're comfortable. Okay? If your low back's bothering you, you, you won't be surprised if your legs are wide. Okay? I mean, we love to have our heels touch, but that doesn't always happen. So let's just stay right here. Hands right under your forehead. Just give me a lift to the torso. And we lower. I heard this, one of those big box fitness chains. Instead of having Pilates instructors, they're just going to put a video on. So I got to say, nothing beats a live instructor. Nothing. No video. Nothing you've got. It's always nice to have a live instructor. But if you can't, if you're traveling, then it's nice to be able to go to some sort of a video or something. Right? And let's go one more time. And then we lower. Okay, now I need you to grab your weights. Okay? So you're going to take your arms to goalpost arms. Let's see. Mine are going to be a little bit more narrow because... This this uh, here, or this bed is a little bit more narrow. So from here, got your weights in your hands. You're going to lift your chest, lift your elbows, lift your hands, extend it, return it, lower your hands, lower your elbows, lower your chest. 
Again, lift your chest, lift your elbows, lift your hands. Extend it, return it, return the hands, return the elbows, and lower. Let's do it one more time that way. We lift the chest, we lift the elbows, we lift the hands, we extend it, we return it, return the hands, return the elbows, and then we lower. Okay? Now let me just change that a little bit. So try again not to let your, your glutes do the squeeze in here. Try to get your back to do most of the work. Okay. Belly's pulled in and up. Don't forget that. Okay. Lift your chest. This time, lift your hands. Lift your elbows. Extend it. Return it. Elbows. Hands. And we lower. Again, lift your chest. Lift your hands. Lift your elbows. You're extending out on an angle. Return it. Return your elbows. Return your hands. And we rest. Here's your last one. Lift your chest. Lift those hands. Lift those elbows. Extend it. Return it. Elbows. Hands. And then we rest. Okay, good. Leave those weights over there. Just put your hands right under your forehead. Let's curl our toes under. I love this one. Okay? You're going to lift and point your foot and then curl your toes right back under. Lift a leg. Try to keep your, your, your hips pushed into the mat so you're getting more of a stretch. Okay? You lift. Because if I were to lift my hip, I'm not getting, see how that is? I'm not getting as much of a stretch as I could if I rooted that bony landmark into that mat. And we lift, and we lower, and last time, lift, and then we lower. Perfect. Keep those toes curled under. Slide your hands right under your shoulders. Take a deep breath. Push yourself right up into a plank. There you are. Drop down to your knees. Sit back into your shell. Sit right back. <laughs> All right. Nice. Round it up. Take a leg back. Take a leg back. And let's just float ourselves down. Okay? All right. So swimming. Let's uh, take one weight. Take the one weight in your left hand, and she's above your bottom. Right arm is going to reach. Legs lift. Look up over your shoulder and just swim. So just your legs are moving, but you're trying to stay lifted. And pull that belly in and up and just swim. Just go four there. Go three there. Go two there. Go one. And then rest. Swap it out. I see some real impressive swimming in classes. People in the class are just amazing. So lift up that arm, lift up that chest, lift up the legs, and swim. So everything's trying to get you to lift your chest. There's weight behind you. You're looking over your shoulder, right? And we swim, and swim, and swim. Go four, go three, go two, go one, and then we rest. Okay. Hands under your shoulders. Bend your legs this time. Take an inhale. On your exhale, it's going to lift you right up because you're not strong. And we sit back into a shell. Perfect. Okay, come back to a Halloween cat. And let's go come to a plank, please. Okay, I think this is like our last cardio hit. Yeah, so it'll be our last one. Okay, so let's be real impressive with ourselves, right? So let's bend. And let's hop in. Ha. Hold here. Stay here or grab onto your legs. And we inhale back. And then we exhale. Let's push yourself forward. Hands there. Pop it out. Lift up those hips. Walk your hands back. One, two, and three. That makes the abs fire. And roll yourself up. And then we circle those shoulders back. Last time, inhale up. Dive yourself in. Hold there. Walk out. One, and two, and three. Stay there. Nice. And now from here, go ahead and give me that crouch again. Hop those feet in. And then we'll just sit back. Okay. So now... I want to do four of star today. Um, so let's start on your right side here. And we're definitely going to stay on our form. I want your palm up. And I think what we'll do is we'll stay on our bottom leg to support that leg. So we won't go to full, full star, but that's fine. We'll still get some lovely work out of this. Make sure you're not going to dump into your shoulder like so. Again, lifting up that waist. The waist is not a waist. Okay. Up we go. Reach that arm, reach that leg. So you could stay here, or you could be down here. Just be lifted. Wherever your hip is, just be lifted. So that arm is reaching. So we go soldier, together, separate, together. Soldier, together, separate, together. Soldier, together, separate. Last one. Soldier, together, separate. Hold it, feel that reach, feel that reach. So lovely. Nice. And then bring it all back in. 
Bend that leg and just push yourself up. Good. And let's just swap these legs out to the other side. Nothing fancy, just moving. Good. Okay. So, other hand, you're on your on your forearm. You're lifted, shoulders away from your ears, ribs are sewn in. And again, we're going to choose to stay on our knee. We can stay on our hip if we want as well. Okay? So reach that arm long. Be proud with this. And go ahead and up you go. Okay? So we hold here. And we go soldier together. Separate together. Soldier together. Separate together. Soldier together. Separate together. Last time, soldier together. Separate and hold and reach and reach and reach. Bring it all back in and let's rest. Perfect. And then just push yourself up. Let's go ahead and come back into a shell stretch. So just let's sit back. Take your hands over to the left side. Come back to center. Take your hands over to the right side. Oh. Come back to center. Nice. And now from here, roll yourselves right up. And let's just have a sit. Have a sit. Okay. So here you are, you're seated up nice and tall. Um, let's go ahead and lace those hands behind you. Now, what we want to be careful of, I'm trying to do a chest expansion where you can actually see, uh, see uh, me. So open up that chest. Let's lace our fingers and just open the chest, okay? Now you want to draw your ribs in. Now let go so you're just reaching and you're holding here. Low abdominals, please, as though you're standing so those feet are strong and forward. Please stand if, if you have the space, okay? I'm sure you do. Okay, let's turn our heads to the left, and then further left, come back to center. Turn right, further right, come back to center, and then relax. What's nice about sitting here is when you're standing doing chest expansion, you might move your hips. When you're sitting, you're very aware if those hips are budging. Okay, so let's try it again. Take those arms behind you. We lace first just to find it. Try to open up those collarbones, pull the ribs in, and then let go and hold it there, okay? Nice, hold it, pull the ribs in, shoulders away from those ears. Feel the abdominals working. Nice, all right, turn left, further left, come back to center, turn right, further right, come back to center, and then relax, take a deep breath up. And then just round your body over, 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 over. And then let's sit up nice and tall. Hands are by you or um, on you. And just give me a side stretch. And then bring it right back up. Give me a side stretch the other way, pressing. And then come back up, take both arms high, round over, just a little bit. And then open. And arms go high one more time, round over. And then we're going to open. Perfect. Take your arms up. We look up. And then we look center, open your arms wide. And then just lovely. So that's the session. We use some weights. We got some cardio hits in there. Um, uh, if you're happy with it, I hope you feel good uh, that you moved your body in all different ways so far or in this session. Um, what else? What else? I think that's it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for practicing. Um, I'm always grateful. All right. Have a great day.